How to prevent hackers from attacking our home Wi-Fi network? Here are some considerations for protecting your home Wi-Fi network. 1. Place the router in a central location. Strong cybersecurity starts with a smart setup, if possible. Place your router in the center of your home. Routers send wireless signals in all directions, so strategically placing your router in a central location will help maintain connectivity throughout your home as a bonus. It's also likely to result in the best connection quality. For example, if you have internet in your apartment and your neighbors are to your left and right, placing your router next to a shared wall may send them a strong and enticing signal. Even if you're not in your apartment, a good router can cast a signal next door or across the street. Placing the router in a central location will help reduce the distance these signals travel outside of your home. 2. Create a strong Wi-Fi password and change it frequently. This should be self-explanatory, but I'm going to introduce it anyway to emphasize its importance. Creating a unique password for your Wi-Fi network is critical to maintaining a secure connection. Avoid using passwords or phrases that are easy to guess, such as someone's name, birthday, phone number, or other common information. While simple Wi-Fi passwords are easy to remember, they are also easy for others to guess. Be sure to change your password every six months or so, or whenever you think your online security may be compromised. 3. Change the default router login credentials. As with password protecting your Wi-Fi network, you'll also want to prevent anyone from directly accessing your router settings. To do this, go ahead and change the router's administrator name and password. You can log into your router settings by entering your IP address in the address bar. But most routers and providers have an app that lets you access the same settings and information. Your router login credentials are separate from your Wi-Fi network name and password. If you're not sure what the default value is, you should be able to find it on the bottom of your router. 4. Turn on the firewall and Wi-Fi encryption. Most routers have firewalls to protect against outside hackers and Wi-Fi encryption to prevent anyone from eavesdropping on the data sent back and forth between the router and connected devices. Both are usually active by default but you'll want to check to make sure they're turned on. Now that you know how to log into your router settings, check to make sure the firewall and Wi-Fi encryption are enabled. If they are closed for some reason, open them. Your network security will thank you. 5. Create a guest network. Before sharing access to your main home network, consider creating a separate guest network for guests. I'm not suggesting that your guests try to do anything malicious using your main Wi-Fi connection but their devices or anything they download while connected to your network could be infected without their knowledge. Of malware or viruses, guest networks are also great for your IoT devices, such as Wi-Fi cameras, thermostats, and smart speakers, which may not hold a lot of sensitive information and may be more susceptible to hacking than smarter devices like computers or phones. 6. Use a VPN. There are many reasons to use a good VPN, and online security is one of them. A virtual private network hides your IP address and Wi-Fi activity, including browsing data. VPNs may be more useful when connected to a public network, but they can still add a level of security and privacy to your home network. Some VPNs are better than others. But like anything, you get what you pay for. Free VPN services are available, but paying a little extra, as little as a few dollars per month, provides a better, more secure service. 7. Keep your router and devices up to date. While software updates can be annoying, they serve a purpose and often include security updates. When companies become aware of potential or exposed security vulnerabilities, they release updates and patches to minimize or eliminate the risk. You should download and install these updates. Keeping your router and connected devices up to date will help ensure you have the best protection against known malware and hacker attacks, if possible. Set your router to automatically update in the administrative settings and check regularly to make sure your router is up to date. 8. Disable remote router access. Remote router access allows anyone not directly connected to your Wi-Fi network to access router settings. Unless you need to access your router while you're away, for example, to check or change the configuration of your child's connected devices, there's no reason to enable remote access. You can disable remote access under the router's administrative settings. 
Unlike other security measures, disabling remote router access may not be the default setting. 9. Verify the connected device. Always check the devices connected to your network and verify that you know what they are. If anything in it looks suspicious, disconnect and change your Wi-Fi password. After you change your password, you must reconnect any previously connected devices, but any users or devices that don't have permission to use your network will not be able to reconnect. Some devices, especially obscure IoT devices, may have strange default names containing random numbers and letters that you don't immediately recognize. If you encounter a similar situation while auditing connected devices, disconnect them. You'll know this is the problem later when you can't start your robot vacuum from your phone. Even with the latest and most effective methods to protect your home network, security can never be 100% certain as long as there has been the internet. Hackers and cyber criminals have found ways to exploit it. But with the tips above, you can better secure your network and prevent anyone from trying to use your connection or access your data.